Okay, so what I've done so far is I have installed my Divi child theme, I've installed BodyCommerce, and I have installed WooCommerce, as you can see here on my screen. I wanted to leave this bit up to you just in case there's some confusion. I've kind of had some people that have had issues when they get to this because it's a little confusing about setting up your store. You can go ahead and click on the button that says set up my store if you wanted to like that. And then it'll ask you a bunch of questions. You can go ahead and go through that. I am just going to go ahead and skip this step and jump in to things. Now here you can, of course, give your store a name. You can say what industry you're in. Doesn't even know where I'm really located, but that's fine. Let's just go ahead and save that. And it's going to ask you to enhance it with all these plugins. That is going to be entirely up to you. I am not teaching these things, so I am going to be disabling them. We are here for body commerce and seeing how things work with that. So it is doing its thing. And here we go. Now it is going to be pesky and remind you of all these things that it wants you to do. It's not wrong because you are going to have to do these things, but we are going to be a little bit more conversational about this towards the end of the course. Um, there's of course many other courses and videos and YouTube stuff and tutorials out there about how to set up WooCommerce from scratch. But I wanted to take a minute to just quickly walk you guys through some stuff here. Um, you'll see that when you've installed WooCommerce, of course, you'll have WooCommerce on the side, you'll have products, you will have marketing where you have your coupons and stuff. In WooCommerce, you want to make sure to head over, well, first, after installing WooCommerce, you want to come over here and make sure that you've installed these basic pages um, for WooCommerce. So those pages are going to be your cart page, as you can see right here, your checkout page, your My Account page, a privacy policy page, re refunds and returns policies, and a shop page. Now, if you sped through things and you do not see any of these pages here, no problem. All you got to do is go back to WooCommerce here and you're going to click on status. And here on status, it's very simple. You just scroll down to where it's going to tell you standard WooCommerce pages. And if I go down here, yeah, you can see that they were created. And if you don't have that set up, it'll ask you to generate it right here on the right hand side. So just so you know that that is there for you. We can see that the terms and condition page has not been set yet. So you're going to want to do that if that's what you want to do. Okay. So now just hopping into the WooCommerce settings here, I just wanted to go through. So it asks us to add the address and all that fun stuff. You can do all that here right now. And some of the other stuff that you can do, depending on whether you want to enable coupons or not, you're going to do all that stuff here. You can set the currency for your store. I'm going to keep it on the US. Um, and then also, everything as it relates to your products, right? So you can set what your shop page is. You can go ahead and specify a placeholder image. Um, so if you wanted to do something fancy, whatever, you can go ahead and do that. And all the measurements, you can see here that you can do inventory management, all that fun stuff, places for setting up your shipping. Very easy to do. You can go ahead and do that. Um, but again, not what we're covering in this course, right? We're focused on body commerce and the features within that. Payments get set up here. We're going to talk about all this stuff more towards the end of the course. And um, here are just some other things that you want to gonna check is to see whether guest checkout is allowed or not. That's going to be up to you whether you want to do that and all the other fun stuff. So that's it really for the WooCommerce side of things. Um, we are, of course, also in a little bit going to be adding some products to the database here. I, I will be using a CSV file that I have. Um, I will make that available and link to you guys also but we'll talk more about that in a little bit. So that's basically it for this part of just setting up WooCommerce a little bit, but more taking a look around and kicking the tires a bit.